Kel Thomas from I Am Classic Hip Hop. Dot com. Chilling with my home girl, Carolyn Grady, Rhythmic Images. Make sure you check it out, www.rhythmicimages.com. Yo, I just happen to be one of the luckiest men right now in America because I'm, I'm, I'm in the diaspora of two legends right here. I got my man DJ Tony Tone from the world famous legendary Cold Crush. And I got my man Lil Rodney C, you know what I'm saying? Here's a little story that must be told and all of that right there. That's so. double trouble. That's double trouble. Hey, Shy, that's Rodney C for the fucking four plus. <laughs> Don't be four plus one. You know what I'm saying? But but I peep the style way back when it was double trouble. I'm my bad, man, but legendary non the least, man. But uh, yo, peace, brothers, who's good? Chillin' man, yo oh, yeah. man, just glad to be here. No doubt, indeed man, um, we down here, new spot across the way man, but um, yo man, how y'all enjoying Atlanta so far? Yo, man? you know, every time I come down here, it's like a fresh, uh, 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 a new, like, energy comes up because it's so fresh out here, and you know, Atlanta, I'm trying to get down here, but my wife is like, nah, not yet. So, you know, I, I but I enjoy coming down here. No doubt, Rodney, you out there in La you already doing your thing out there. Well, here. actually, that's where the studio is at. Okay. I'm, I'm here, I'm in Forest Park. Oh, no question, no question. I've been here about 13 months now, you know what I mean? Just trying to get in where I fit in. You know what I mean? I got a few projects that I'm working on. I got a hip-hop radio show. Um, it's called Hip-Hop History with Rodney C. Yes. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I got to interview the legendary um, Tony Crush yesterday, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that was cool, you know what I mean? And um, under my belt right now, I think I got about 40 interviews from That's different pioneers That's in the game, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, yeah, so uh, I'm just doing that. Um, and uh, my daughter is Diamond Stone, oh, who is the daughter of Angie Stone, who is, you know what I mean, an R&B singer, you know what I mean? So I'm working with her. And you know, we got a few things that we're trying to do, you know what I mean? No question. So let's let's talk on that, because you said legendary, and that word hey, comes up a lot. Sure you know what I'm saying? But people that know the game, it's, it's only really like that word should be it, sh it should be closed shut for only a few because legendary, and I think legendary, I think about the pioneers of this, and y'all definitely had a part in that, man. You know, tell me, tell me about how it was in the late 70s, man. You're battling and jockeying for position, and then you finally arrived, man. How, what was that like back then? Well, well, I mean, back then it was like stages, you know, because I, I actually started with Breakout and Baron before there was a Funky Four, and I saw the Funky Four come about, and then I saw the Funk 4 Plus One come about. So I, I seen things grow and break up and grow again and break up and grow again. And then I broke off and I started the Cold Crush Brothers. And we went to, through the same channels of putting something together, then it not working out, changing it up, it not working out, changing it up. And now what people know is what they just think is from the beginning right. of what Cold Crush was, but it's not. Mm. And, and nothing starts and ends the same way. Right. You know, it's always changes you have to make. But it's like, you got to consider this, the, the, the type of sweat you're going to put into this to survive this law. Right. You know, you got cats that didn't survive, but after a while they came back and and built themselves up again and and you know it's the second coming up of the funky no doubt you know it's the no second couple coming of the funky no doubt you know because it's 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 is we don't we don't lose the hip-hop in us right and it just you got to get back to it if you still out here you got to get back to it that's no all it is no well, basically what he talking about is the growing pain you know what I mean of hip-hop um it being the seed planted in the Bronx, and we being the caretakers of that seed. And each one of us has a contribution, and we help that seed to grow. You know what I mean? And that seed grew, and through the years, it went through its changes. You know what I mean? Because you know a seed is gonna grow into a plant, plant gonna grow into a tree, and you know, here we have, 40 plus years later, right. we have a culture. Right. You know what I mean? Um, what most people don't understand is the difference between hip hop, and rap, right? Because they think it's one and the same. Exactly. Rap is just one element of 
the culture. But people who don't live the culture, who don't know the culture, don't understand that. Right. You know what I mean? And I think like what we have to do as pioneers and AKA legends now, you know what I mean? Because it's funny, right? Because when I hear people say to me legend, like I say, oh, legend, like, you know what I mean? Like, like, that's like the ultimate compliment. Right. You know what I mean? I did, uh, well actually we did, uh, summer stage with Big Daddy Kane, okay. and he broke it down. And, and like, I had never heard nobody break it down like he broke it down. And when he did, it kind of made it yeah. receptive. Like I became really receptive to that title legend. Right. You know what I mean? Because I heard that. Right. Right.